Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Thank you for checking out today's video. <clears throat> so basically you're here for a haul. It's not a huge haul, but I kind of missed the whole, what is it? Chasing Rainbows wax collection dealio. I am the worst Scentsy consultant ever. I'm not really a consultant. I just sell to myself basically and like a couple of close friends. Um, but yeah, I was seeing all of these reviews on YouTube from um, my favorite YouTubers talking about the Chasing Rainbows Wax Collection. And well, first of all, I love anything rainbow. And second of all, the reviews just made me super interested. Um, generally speaking, it seemed to me that all of the bars are fruity and that the blue it sounds like um is kind of fruity fresh which if i could i mean those are my two favorite scent categories so i'm just i'm just stoked in all of the ways i suspect and i don't have the scent notes in front of me i apologize um but i suspect at least one or two of these will probably end up in my club. I have not smelled them. Couldn't tell you the scent notes, but just based on reviews that I have seen on YouTube, that's just my guess. So let's just see. Now, um, so yeah, that's kind of what prompted me to want to place an order. Because you guys know, I do not place individual orders really. It's very rare, usually for me. Um, I tend to just put things in my club, but I just couldn't wait. Uh, so yeah, the other addition to this order is some fragrance flowers. They are currently like the cheapest I think I've ever seen. When the fragrance flowers first came out, they were actually a lower price than what they are now. But I want to say they're 20% off right now. All of them except for Coastal Sunset, I want to say. Because of course I love that scent and I would have wanted one. Um... I'm sorry if you can hear the street noise. I should have closed everything up. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, the best deal was to do a three pack because you got to use the um, bundle and save option and 20% off of that. I mean, you just can't beat that. So, I mean, these make great gifts. Let's just get into it. So I got three and my friend got three originally I think we were both kind of thinking we would just each get one. And then when I saw that the bundle and save was included in the sale, I was like, well, shit. I mean, that never happens. Back in the day, it used to happen. But in recent Scentsy times, usually, um, yeah, especially for fragrance flowers. So this might even be cheaper than when they first came out. I can't remember. But yeah, long story short, because the price was right, we both just thought, let's just get three each. Um, so yeah, first up here, I know this one is mine. The Dahlia Darling. Now I believe all six flowers are da Dahlia Darling. I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly. I know my three are. So this is mine and I got Vanilla Bean Buttercream, which you guys don't see me talk about that fragrance a lot. Um, and I recently warmed a bar for the first time in probably a year or two and I really, really enjoyed it. So I thought that would be a good one for like end of summer or fall. Really, it would be good all year round, but I didn't want to get all spring summer type scents. So I thought vanilla bean buttercream would be good for later in the season or the fall or the winter. Um, this one also for me, oh, that's funny. I wonder if I have them stacked here in threes. I wonder if they're stacked according to who ordered what. Let's find out. Um, yeah, go, go mango. One of my all-time favorite Scentsy fragrances, but I've never had it in the fragrance flower. So that, I believe, is going to be the one I'm opening first. That's my plan. Can't wait to color it. I love coloring these. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, up next. Oh, nope, this one's not mine. Another Darling Dahlia in Luna. So this is for my friend. I have... I believe my first fragrance flower was Luna, actually. Um, it was really, <clears throat> really, really, really light, unfortunately. Fragrance flowers are light, but um, that one was very, very light, almost undetectable, unless I stuck my nose in it. 
So that's for my friend. This one is mine. And this would be a good one any time of year as well. Black Raspberry Vanilla. Love that scent. Love it in the laundry. Love it in the wax. Love the Bath and Body Works version. I have the Bath and Body Works in the hair, or, um, shower gel and body cream. Um, hibiscus Pineapple for my friend. I had suggested that because I know that she purchased the wax through me before and I know that she likes that scent. In fact, I think I gave her the Hibiscus Pineapple body wash for her last birthday, I think. Some sort of body care anyway. Um, and last but not least, she grabbed a Blue Grotto. Highly recommended this. This was the product that had me, made me fall in love with Blue Grotto. I tried it for the very first time in a fragrance flower and it would not die. These last forever. They last to the point where the last one or two that I used, I actually ended up throwing away with oil still in it. Like it, the oil just wouldn't go away towards the end. Very, very interesting. So those are our six fragrance flowers. Now, this is the part that I have been so patiently waiting for. I cannot wait to smell these Chase the Rainbows bars. I, you have no idea. And it felt like this order took forever. Well, it did. I mean, not literally, obviously. Um, Scentsy orders are usually pretty quick. Lately, they are not. All of these sales, I think, just have them so busy and so backed up that they literally can't keep up. I am afraid that this is going to fall. <laughs> You guys, you know what it's like around here. Chances are they, they would have fallen. <clears throat> anyway, I waited a really long time, or at least that's how it felt for me for these bars. I am going to smell them in the order I think I will not like them because I like to save the best for last. You guys know this. Um, okay, the one I think I will probably like the least is green. Um, I love the packaging on these, by the way. Love. This is going to make a very cute thumbnail today. <laughs> anyway, um, green. I believe this is like green apple and I don't know what else. I wanna say kiwi, but maybe that's just my hope. I enjoy a good apple fragrance. I tend to prefer red apple fragrances to green, which is funny because if you asked me that a few years ago, I would have said the opposite. But my, my taste in fragrance products really has changed. I tend to like more stuff now, I think. But anyway. Obviously, there's a picture of a green apple on it. That's what I expect it to smell like. I hope this is better than Apple Teeny Splash because I, I didn't love that one. Hmm, okay. It's very, very, very fresh. There's definitely more to this than green apple. I sh I'm sorry, I should have grabbed my iPad to look up. Oh, weird, the inside of the label is different. Look at that. Are they all like that? Probably. Are all Scentsy bars going to look like this on the inside now? Or was it just this collection? Anyway, um, I'm gonna smell the bottom of the bar to see if I can get a little more out of it. <clears throat> it's very light, fresh. Like, I suppose I can tell there's green apple in it, but it's a, it's a very, very sophisticated green apple. There's definitely more to it. Just gonna warm it a little bit with my hand here. Yeah, I don't know, it's okay. Like I, I didn't expect it to be my favorite, so. And it's not. Um, oh, what do I think I will like? more okay i'm gonna venture a guess and say this will be my second to least favorite yellow clearly there's a slice of lemon on here i used to really dislike citrus scents now i love them and i really love them now it's so strange um and i really love a good lemon not a cleaner lemon that lemon uh, drizzle cake from the easter collection can't do it can't do it lemon sorbet on the other hand oh to die for. I have heard this being compared to lemon sorbet. So that gives me some hope. Let's see. Again, I don't know what else is in this other than lemon. I really like this. It smells familiar. 
I need to get to the bottom because the top is just lemon. That's all I'm getting. There's definitely more to it than just lemon. It is a more tart lemon, but there is some sweetness to it. I would say that lemon sorbet is sweeter than this. I think this is stronger on cold. I should have grabbed a bar of lemon sorbet. I could have done a side-by-side -side sniff. This smells like a lemon lollipop. Yeah, but maybe a little more authentic. I really like this. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be a good performer. Dang, dang, I really like that. It's, yeah, it's not, I expected it to be, you know, like squeeze the day or lemon sorbet and it's similar, but it is different. I think this will be my third. Well, now that I've smelled the, the yellow, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, orange. It looks like there's a grapefruit on there, or is that a blood orange? Um, but yeah, I, I just expect this literally to smell like an orange, another citrus. But I had a feeling that I would like orange over lemon, like the yellow. But I don't know why I think that. <laughs> I don't know that I have strong feelings about one over the other. Oh, dang. Oh, this is, this is weird. The top of this bar smells completely different than the bottom. Oh, maybe not completely different. Oh, the bottom is strong. For freshly poured bars, this orange and that yellow, strong. The green, not quite as much. This is hard to describe. There's, there's a tangy zip. There's a I'm not talking about Miracle Whip. <laughs> there is something very, like, high-pitched. I know when I say that, it doesn't make sense, but in my head it does. It is a tangy... <sighs> Citrus, but I, I... Definitely more to it than just orange. I actually think I might like the yellow more. On cold, I like the yellow more. Is there amber in this? There's something in this that almost smells perfumey to me. Okay, so I was wrong. I, I like the yellow more than I like the orange. I thought it would be the other way around. Oh, okay, the two that I think I'm just gonna go crazy over that'll probably end up in my club, but I have no idea because I never smelled them. Someone compared blue to Atlantic Air. And for those of you who have been following me for a minute, you know Atlantic Air is one of my all-time favorite scents. It is, oh, it is my love. Um, and I don't think Scentsy's ever done anything like Atlantic Air. So if this is similar, that'll make me happy. I also think that there is melon in this, if I recall correctly. And melon is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. It's what I'm warming right there. Mad for melon. Um... Yeah, also love this color. So I feel like blue and red are gonna be tied for me because if I recall correctly, red I wanna say is strawberries and watermelon. Clearly strawberries, you can see it on the package. I have always said the perfect scent to me would be a strawberry watermelon scent because those are two of my favorite, not only fruits, but fragrances. So you have no idea how, how stoked I am for these. I think I'm gonna smell red first only because I suspect it'll be more fruity than this. Love that label. And everything else has been fruity, so let's just stick with fruity and we'll smell the blue at the end, okay? Red. Again, clearly there's strawberries. For some reason, I think there's watermelon and I don't know what else. Cherry, maybe? Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, the bottom is like cherry syrup. Super sweet cherry on the bottom. It, oh, this takes me back to like being 13 years old and walking to the store with my, with my babysitting money to buy Jolly Ranchers because those were my jam and they still are. This is like watermelon Jolly Rancher 
with strawberry Jolly Rancher. There used to be such a thing. I don't know if there still is. And then on the bottom you get a syrupy cherry, but not like a cherry Jolly Rancher. It's more like a cherry snow cone syrup. Oh dang, that's, that's, that's good. Oh, it straight up smells like candy. I almost get like Starburst vibes. I get more cherry when I warm it with my hand. I, I really like that. I really, really like that. Dang. I'm gonna have to get to warming these so I can decide what I'm doing with my life, what I'm, what I'm keeping, or what I'm putting in my club. I think I did already throw the red and blue in my club. Actually, no, I think I'm lying. I'm pretty sure I added every bar to my club except the green, just because I wanted to not take the risk because if I end up loving these and then they're gone, well, we've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> Those sensey heartbreaks, okay last and I'm sure certainly not least man that label the label actually gives me Atlantic eye Atlantic air vibes I'm sorry if you can hear the beeping I don't even know what that is <laughs> happens a lot around here and I eventually I don't even notice it so I'm sorry if you are noticing it anyway cannot wait to smell this Hmm. I, I think if I had smelled this without any preconceived ideas or notions, just smelling the bottom now, um, I don't think I would have compared this to Atlantic Air. I suppose... If I look for it, there is an ozone airy type vibe, but it's definitely different um, than Atlantic Air. And now that I'm thinking about it, I wouldn't say I get melon from this at all. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there isn't melon in this. Why did I think there was? Maybe there's melon in the green. I don't know. Someone will leave me a comment below, I'm sure. It's about 60% floral to my nose and then like 40% like fresh clean. I think this is one I'm going to need to warm before I decide. It's not like I'm not falling in love with it the way that I thought that I would. It's almost laundry-ish. Definitely I enjoy this more than I enjoy clothesline on cold it's about a medium strength i would say on cold this one the bottom is is tough to smell because and again i've said this many times before i do find with newly poured bars the bottom of the clam and the bottom of the wax do get a very strong plastic like chemical note and it's hard it, it's hard to distinguish that from the actual scent or the intended scent Yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, it's fresh, kind of clean, kind of floral. <clears throat> it is not um, knocking my socks off by any means. I wouldn't say that I'm head over heels. Just realizing right now how mildly crooked the camera has been this whole video. Sorry, guys. I mean, you just know what to expect with me. Hot mess right here. Anyway. Um, overall thoughts of the Chasing Rainbows or Chase Rainbows collection. Packaging, super cute. Love the colors. Wish there was a purple because purple is my favorite color. And I just have a thing for rainbows. Um, the green on cold by far the lightest. The other four I would rate as either medium or strong on cold. I think my favorite is probably red and then yellow. But I need to warm the blue, for sure. I do not suspect I would put the green in my club, which I don't think I did. And yeah, uh, there's something in this orange. Let me smell it again. Almost, 
almost like musk, like body care-esque. Yeah, there's something weird. And it might just be because I have the blue notes still in my nose, but this one is really interesting. What is it? Oh, now I need to look up the scent notes as soon as I'm done filming this. Yeah, the bottom is very, very, very sweet citrus, but there is something in this that is, is giving me like a body care vibe. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Is it like a sandalwood? Is it a... Here we go. This is this is when it all goes downhill, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm such a mess. And I'm totally going to admit that I am exhausted, but I just really wanted to film this because I, I couldn't wait any longer to smell these bars. And I wanted you guys to smell them with me so you would get my honest opinion of my first impressions. So... In doing that, I sort of sacrificed quality a little bit. But you know what? Those of you who stick with me are used to it and you accept me. And I appreciate that about you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you're all doing really well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, guys, so that you don't miss any up coming content. Okay. Uh, next video for me will be a home fragrance empties part two for April, 2022. How is April over? I, I, I don't even, I can't, I can't deal. Time is just flying on by guys. Anyway, that'll be the next thing that you see for me again. Thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think of this collection? Leave me a comment below. I would love to know. Are you partaking in the fragrance flower discount sale? Um, I think it's still going on. I think it's like a Mother's Day thing. Again, I am the worst Scentsy consultant ever. Um, but yeah, are you going to pick some up? If you are, let me know below what fragrance you're going to get. Okay, guys, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye, y'all.